Hi everyone, this is the last question from the sample exam uh, 1 and in this question they gave you a table of many income and expenditure components of the GDP and they are asking you to figure out uh, first of all the net domestic product uh, so when it comes to having a table full of all these expenditure and income components first thing you should try to figure out the GDP or NDP is try to check if there are all the expenditure components of GDP given in this table so let's first check if all the expenditure components are given in this table looks like I have consumption looks like I have the net export which is export minus import I have the government spending but looks like I do not have the investment component given to me so that means I cannot use the expenditure approach here so that means we have to use the income approach to find out the GDP or NDP from this table so just a quick recap of our income approach we know from our circular flow diagram or model that out of all the expenditures spent by the rest of the world the households the government and farms and individuals in this goods and services market farms generate this total revenue and this entire amount of total revenue is now going to be distributed as incomes paid to the factors and indirect taxes paid to the government and depreciation cost paid for repairing their machineries equipment etc so we have to add all of these elements up to find the total income side which will be actually identical to this total revenue and thereby this total expenditure in this economy and that's how the circular flow diagram will remain valid so let's go to our table and add up all the income components to find out the GDP or NDP so here Profits are paid out by firms as income. Indirect business taxes are paid out by firms to the government. Rents are paid by firms to the owners of land, machineries, etc. Sorry. Interests are paid by firms to the lenders from which they borrowed loans, etc. And then, sorry, my picture is jumping here a little bit. Wages are paid by firms as payments to workers and depreciation is also paid by firms to repair this machinery. So I will add up all these components to get my total GDP. And notice that I am not adding this personal income taxes as part of my GDP because personal income taxes as shown by the circular flow diagram is actually not paid by these farms as factors income it is paid by households out of their total income that they make to the government uh, sorry uh, this is the flow of tax going from the households to the government so I'll not include income taxes I'll just include indirect business taxes so to save a little bit of time what I do is I'll just copy and paste this income components on an Excel file where I'll just add them quickly so let's go to an Excel file here and now I'll just add these things up to find out my GDP formulas I'll ask Excel to sum all these values and looks like my total GDP in this case is equal to 14.6 trillion dollars right where my cursor is moving now to find the net domestic product what we have to do is deduct the depreciation from GDP so I can take this gross domestic product of 14.6 trillion dollars and deduct the depreciation which is 1.3 to find out my net domestic product which turns out to be 13.3 trillion dollars so we have found GDP
to be 14.6 trillion dollars and our net domestic product to be 13.3 trillion dollars so this 13.3 trillion dollars is our answer to this part A and then or B is asking us, what is the gross private domestic investment? So this is basically the investment component that we did not have in this table. So they're asking us to figure that out. To solve that problem, we can use the definition of GDP using expenditure approach, where we know that, um, that consumption plus investment plus government spending plus the net export, which is basically export minus import gives us the total GDP and from this table and from our results we already know that these values of most of these things are already given to us so I'll plug in those values GDP was 14.6 trillion dollars consumption was 11 trillion dollars. Investment was not given to me. Government spending was 1.8 trillion dollars. And the net export, the net export was 1.5 minus 1.7 dollars of imports. So 1.5 minus 1.7 would give me, would give me negative 0 0.2 trillion dollars here. So now I have found an equation here where I have only one unknown which is this i and I should be able to figure that out. So if I add up all these things on the left side, all these numbers, then I get 12.8 minus 0.2 so that gives me 12.6 trillion dollars plus I equal to 14.6 trillion dollars and now if I deduct 12.6 from both sides I get I is equal to 14.6 minus 12.6 trillion dollars which turns out to be equal to 2 trillion dollars let me see if I made any mistake here 1.5, 1.6, no. Okay, so that looks like the answer to this question. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to find GDP, NDP, investments, etc. if I give you this kind of a table in your exam. I'll see you later with some more video snippets. For now, take care.